What's up, everyone? I'm Maya Washington, and this is Gronish the Kickback, the show where I get to dissect the latest episode of Gronish with the people that made this whole thing possible. Today, I'm joined by Francia Raisa, who plays Anna, show writer Richard Brandon Manis, and executive producer Jenny Henry, and a very special guest, professor of media and gender studies <laughs> at Emerson College, Professor Miranda Banks. Recently, sexual assault has been a part of our daily conversations, but how did that weigh in, in the writer's room? I think we try and avoid um, just being pulling directly from the headlines and we want to be really authentic to what's going on on college campuses. And so it was just really interesting because in the room immediately, uh, what you would anticipate as the women like being like, oh, this is absolutely great. You know, something that can protect us or something that can protect students on campus. And immediately there were um, several of us who were like, this feels crazy. Nobody's going to do this. Yeah. And I think the idea that Jenny is speaking about is this like this notion of enthusiastic sober consent mm -hmm. that we talk about so many times so much in the episode of just like it's a it's a thing that on the surface of it. And I think Zoe even says a version of this in the episode of like it seems like such a, gr a brilliant good just mm -hmm. idea yes everybody should be you should be into the sex that you're having or whatever <laughs> and you should you, people should consent to do it you know but when you try to like really enforce that and look at that in a practical way of what that means to people that are going to be drinking right. and and having sex on college campuses or whatever what does that really look like right. that was really the issue i think we want to right. try to examine and kind of pull apart through the different lenses of our characters a little bit Francia, what were your thoughts when you found out we were going to be addressing this in the, the season? I was really happy because, you know, one of the things that I do love about this show is that we touch on real stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, we use humor to kind of deliver right. a message, which is the best way to deliver any type of message. But it is a conversation that I feel people should have. And I hope it is a conversation starter for a lot of people. And Vivek brings up a really important point, which is sexual assault against men isn't taken seriously. Right. Uh, Miranda, what were your thoughts on that? Is that like relative to like, even how we as a society view it? Absolutely. I think that there's uh, cases of men that are victims of sexual mm -hmm. assault uh, and in all sorts of situations. Uh, and also that, that sexual assault really is about power. Mm -hmm. And it's about a power differential. And many of these rules uh, that colleges or universities are instituting are designed for conversations to happen and for us to understand that the power dynamic needs to be clear and ideally needs to be even. What were the challenges in the writer's room? Anytime you're dealing with a subject matter like this, um, it, it becomes kind of complicated because it is serious, but I think Francia put it so elegantly to say that we tried to do it in a way where it was conversational mm -hmm. and we invoked humor and, um, you know, it's also hard because we'll sometimes tackle these subjects where we do these big round table episodes and those are extremely tricky to do when you have essentially an entire episode where you're sitting around talking about something. And I think that um, ultimately it turned out to be pretty fun, you know, uh, so that was one of the challenges. One of the things I loved about this episode and I love about the show too, is that it, you are taking advantage of what's happening right now on mm -hmm. college campuses. Yeah. And, uh, and I think what's so important about this issue of consent is that the terms of what consent means have changed so much mm -hmm. for people. When I was growing up, it was no means no. Mm -hmm. And that was the way that we were taught consent. Uh, and this generation, it's yes means yes. And that an enthusiastic and sober yes means yes, mm -hmm. right? And so constantly these things are shifting and changing. So for this group of young people to sit around and debate and discuss it is actually, I think, the goal mm -hmm. of a lot of um, the best intentions of these kinds of um, policies that are happening on campuses is to get people talking. And in this episode, both Zoe and Anna's uh, characters are s supportive of this proposal. Um, what was the takeaway for you, Francia, with that? I thought it was really funny and interesting how you guys had that dynamic because people were really quick to clap back at other people. Mm -hmm. Like Zoe and I were very, um, a support of the, this, mm -hmm. but then Nomi says to me, wait a second, mm -hmm. you don't follow that policy. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? I was sober. Yeah, but what about him? He wasn't. And you really start thinking like, wow, what is consent? Did I do something wrong? And I thought it was an interesting topic to kind of subtly right. touch mm -hmm. on. What were your biggest takeaways from this week's episode? 
I hope that the takeaway from the episode is that uh, people will just dialogue, that this will kickstart a conversation, and whether you agree or disagree, at least we're talking about it. We talked about, like, the story with poor Wade in the episode, but a lot of this is, is it's men doing this to women, you know? Uh, men need to be better, you know? I think uh, it's messed up that so much of the onus, it seems like with a lot of these type of things, is like it's put on women to avoid getting raped. When mm -hmm. the answer is just, dudes, you need to just not rape. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think people, when, um, particularly when alcohol is involved, but in general, you know, if you're having a, a sexual encounter or whatever, or an experience with the person, be more thoughtful. It doesn't kill you to like go a little bit more out of your way to just like be extra sure that this person wants to do this with you right. or they're having a good time. Well, thank you so much for sharing all that insightful information. I learned a lot. Um, make sure everyone to catch the newest episode of Grownish next week on Freeform, and I'll be back here as well to break it down on Grownish The Kickback.